Hey, welcome to the All Stars Cars channel. I'm Glenn, and today's fun project. If you have a Hyundai Kia and your windshield washer fluid seems to keep always going down prematurely, let's say every you know three days, a week, or what have you, and you're not really using your squirters, well, this might be your problem. Okay, so we got this little triangle on. That means we have a warning uh, problem here. Let's scroll through just here on the steering wheel and we get to the warning sign there and it says low washer fluid so let's try the fluid I hear the pump running you guys probably can't hear it because the engine's running but uh, yeah there's no fluid at all since she keeps adding fluid and it keeps getting low real quick within a couple of days I think the best thing to do is let's go up under the car I'll jack it up and let's take a visual do a visual inspection of what's going on down there if you want to find the mysterious leak, you go to the right front of the car, and what you'll see down here is uh, usually some washer fluid dripping out of these little holes right here. And then, of course, on the ground, you'll see the usually it's blue evidence. Anyway, that's a good sign that that pump has an issue. So I, I like to take a pick or a small screwdriver and pull down on this plastic screw while I take a Phillips and kind of just push this out. Once you get it started, you can kind of grab it easily. Or if you want, take one of these little cat's claw deals and just put that under here and pull down and then, oops, and it comes out that easily. So basically you've got this clip here and it's a plastic screw right there. And when you put them in, all you do is push it through there and you don't have to screw that screw in, just push it in with your thumb, it'll go right in. So let's get this other one out and then we can uh, see what's going on. So with those two out of the way, and all we have to do is grab this sucker and yank it. Let me show you over here what's going on. Let me come up and I've got the car jacked up a little bit. You know, here's the jack so that you have a little more space. Um, if I didn't mention it, the wheels turn to the right to give us more access here. But the actual uh, liner sits behind this fender flare. So you need to kind of wiggle it and pull it out. I'm going to try to do it with one hand without shaking the camera too much. I'll just go in here and yank it out a little ways. There we go. Leaf just flew out. And now that'll give you, let me get the light. That'll give you plenty of access. Not plenty, but enough where you can get back in there to uh, do your work. So you can see how much residue is on that uh, little connector right there. So let's pull it out and I'll show you uh, what we got going on. So what you want to do first is just disconnect your connector here. There's a little tab right here. Push that tab in while you pull up and they can be kind of tight. Let me try to get this sucker released here. I may have to get a little screwdriver. Let's see. Oh, there it is. I got it. Well, that sucker was tight. Sorry about the camera work. Anyway, uh, it's a little tricky filming. So that's removed. And then you want to remove your two hoses. So if you have um, washer fluid in the tank, definitely this is the time to have a little catch can. And I have a clean one here because I want to, it's probably about a half gallon of fluid. I want to save it and reuse it. So just unplug that hose. All right, come on, there we go. It'll start dripping, obviously. It start peeing. And then there's one on the back side. There we go, I'll catch both of them. So I'll let that drain out for a minute and then I'll fire the camera back up. With the fluid mostly drained, so what we need to do now is right here, there's a little tab. So you take a little pry tool or a screwdriver and slightly twist and pull back on your, on your pump. Let me see if I can do it one-handed. Come on, a real YouTuber can do it. There we go. And now what we just need to do is pull this, twist it and pull without trying to splash too bad. There we go. And that comes right on out. So here's our old pump. Now I'm going to take this over to the bench and show you where the failure is. 
So looking this thing over, I want to pressure test it, and I don't. I think the leak is right in here on this double donger, which goes to I assume the dry one might. You know what? One probably goes to the rear, and the other one goes to the front wipers. You know the squirters, and then is uh, diverted. Don't hold me to it. I'm not sure if the back has a separate uh, pump. I don't believe it does. So now that I'm thinking about it, one must pump. It must pump one way or the other. That's what's going on here because this has a rear hatch. So right here, the fluid's coming out. You know, we can tell that, but I don't know which exactly part's leaking. So here's what I've decided to do. I take a vacuum hose. I'm just going to plug it on one side and I'm going to blow pressure through this and then on the back here, the inlet where the fluid would come in. And by the way, everything here looks okay. I don't you know, see anything out of it. I got a cap. One of these caps, you can buy these cheap, all different sizes. I'm going to cap this off. You could hold your thumb over it, I guess. And then I'll just hold my thumb on this one. You could get a cap there. And then we'll dunk this thing, and I'm going to blow pressure into here. Low pressure, and we'll see... Well, we'll find out if we got any air bubbles coming out of here. Then we know that's our leak. So let's do that real quick. Got my finger over the inlet. I'm going to dunk this sucker in. And then I'm going... I don't want to get this electronics part up here wet. Just so the bottom part of that pump is in the water. I'm going to blow on this now. Can you guys see those bubbles? Let me zoom in. I'm sure you can, but just to get a better view. So that's how we roll on the OzStars Cars channel. Right here, watch. Oh, yeah. Shouldn't be any bubbles there. Now I kind of have an idea, so I'm going to spray it with soapy water. And we'll do this test now. I'm going to blow into it. Watch. It's right in here. Interesting. So the test revealed that this white piece right in here is leaking. So I'll see if I can take that apart. Maybe there's a little O-ring or something in there. And see, I thought it was over here originally. Oop, the hose is in the way. You know, I was thinking it was over here, but it was running back this way and down. So the leak test was good to know. Let's see if I can take it apart. All right, well, looky here. So this piece here, I'm just prying. Oops, get it on camera. I'm just prying this back. Oop, there we go, like that. So that's this. I guess we could test it if we if we still weren't sure. Um, put air pressure here, but I'm pretty sure that's good shape. So the pump is all right. It's this piece. So I'm wondering if I could get this separate little check valve looking thing. Now that I've got it apart, I found the problem. Let me see if I can get you guys in focus. Here's the problem, now that I'm looking. I thought this was a mold right here. There's a slight crack right here in the plastic. You can see it from behind. Let's see, right there, it's blue, right in here. So that's our problem. So the fluid was leaking out of that. And with that pump out of the way, here's our grommet. This is the original one. So since we have the replacement, I don't know if I showed you guys this part number. Here it is here. You can buy these separate if that's your problem. I think it's it's not that common of an issue, but since we have a new one and it came with the pump, we're gonna swap this out. So go ahead and pull that and it doesn't hurt. Get this one a little, little wet, a little lubricated and push this back in. So it kind of just floats right there. And here's our replacement pump. And all we need to do is it wouldn't hurt to get this wet a little bit. Just using the washer fluid. Washer fluid is mostly uh, alcohol, so it doesn't freeze. I use this, the winter stuff. Now all you got to do is make sure that little tab right there, zoom me in. This little tab clips up under there, so I twist it, push in, and pops in, snaps in, I guess you call it. And all we need to do now is hook up our hoses. So, of course, you can use two hands. This is only take you a minute. And why is this sitting so loose? That's not good. Uh-oh. I 
That is not good at all. What in the fuck? Oh my god, it's always something. Never mind that. What I noticed is the replacement is under at the bottom here that just flipped is smaller than the OEM. So if you have a 13 Santa Fe, leave the OEM bushing or, or grommet in there. For some reason, it's uh, thicker than the replacement that comes with the pump. So don't do that or it's going to wobble around on you. And you don't want that. So now let's try it because I noticed how loose that was. This is a much snugger fit. Snugger? I guess that's the word. Yeah, it's nice and tight now. Okay, so now I feel like it's it's engaged tighter down there. Let me hook up this other line. And all we should have to do now is put fluid in and just double check, verify that it's not dripping. And we should be good to go. All right, the best part of waking up is windshield washer fluid in your cup. <laughs> all right, let's hope I don't get demonetized for that. I probably deserve to, I'm, not, I'm no singer. Anyhow, we'll pour our uh, salvage washer fluid in. Now, what I suggest you do is pour in a little bit like this, a quarter or so, and then check for leaks, okay, before you top it all the way off with your favorite brand of fluid. So with the fluid in now, we're checking for leaks, everything looks nice and dry. Check this grommet area right in there. Check your hose connections, make sure it all looks good. And now all we need to do is plug in our connector. We could have done that earlier, but I guess I forgot. And uh, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Hold on a second. You should hear it click. There we go. We hear a little clicky. And now I guess the best thing to do is go ahead inside the car. And since we don't have leaks, hit the uh, switch and make sure she pumps. All right, put the ignition on in the car. Let's hit the squirters and see if it pumps here. There we go. So it primed pretty fast. Looking good. I just put new wiper blades on this car the other day, so we're all set. Let's top off the fluid and wrap this one up. All right, I always try to have some tips and tricks in my videos, so here's one for you. So I topped off the fluid. By the way, these things will take over a gallon of fluid, so a little over a gallon. And let's say it's raining and you're trying to diagnose it and everything under the car is wet, so you can't tell if there's washer fluid spilling or not. Uh, maybe you're taking the car to the shop or you know your friend's house or something and you know obviously they're not going to see the puddle on the under the ground at your place so what I do is I fill this tank up this neck up to that to a point where I can get to it easily you can use, just use a marker right to the tank if you want to the neck but I take a piece of tape and that way I can remove it and right here hopefully let me zoom in yeah you can see it the uh, blue washer fluid level make sure make sure you're on level ground and you're checking this at the same spot right and what you want to do is just put that tape top of the tape line right there at the washer fluid line so now what you can do is you know wait a couple days don't use the the squirters of course and then see if your level is dropping if you've got a significant amount of droppage then yeah you've got a leak somewhere so that's just a little tip and trick so just to verify that you don't have any leaks, take a paper towel and just dry everything off down here. That's what I suggest you do. Make sure that you marked, you know, your neck, your, your windshield washer fluid coolant neck so you can monitor it up there. Just make sure the hoses are dry. Nothing obviously is leaking here, you know, dripping, drip, but it could do that small seat deal. You never know. So you want to just make sure. All right, there we go. So the trick is just pull out on the bottom of the bumper cover this way and then go ahead and start from down here and just work it work it in put your two clips up into there and uh, you should be good to go so that diagnosis was pretty easy and the repair was pretty simple uh, it'd be nice if you could just get this part right here which is probably like 10 cents but unfortunately I couldn't find it if you know a resource that has one of these that's reliable please let me know down below um, I have tried like crazy gluing these and, and using some plastic glue doesn't work just go ahead and replace it save yourself a lot of time and aggravation uh, we found out that 
you know this rubber was a little small for the situation so uh, don't use that one for your 13 Santa Fe maybe it fits the other Hyundai models I'm not sure maybe I'll I will uh, cross-reference it they call this a grommet washer pump that's what it is anyway it didn't work for us the OEM or the original one is fine and uh, we're all set to go another thing I want to note is that little trick I showed you with marking the level of the, the fluid on the tank keep in mind that there can be an air pocket build up in there so what you want to do is maybe bounce the car shake it a little bit even better drive it uh, a little bit and then go ahead and mark it because if there's an air pocket or air bubble caught in that tank when it comes up your fluids gonna drop considerably and you'll think you have a leak so keep that in mind so I hope this video was entertaining interesting educational all that fun stuff click the subscribe button if you haven't I appreciate you taking the time to stop by and check it out and I'll see you on the next one take it easy